All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons, man. This is a response video to the video the Apostle Aram Lob did. Your chickens are coming home to roast. Your chickens are coming home to roast. The IUIC, Israel United in Christ. The idle words that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. And that judgment coming. You know, y'all always talking about some of the law, 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 but then you slander us, right? You lie on us, false accusations. But y'all, y'all the main ones talking about law, 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 law. Now, now members in your group, cars are getting shot the hell up. What's up with that? That ain't happening to the members of Great Millstone. Why? Because the angels encamp around about them that fear the Lord and deliver them out of all their troubles. What's up with y'all? Yahweh Bashem El Shai delivereth us out of all our troubles. What can what can God and Christ Christ do? God and Christ bless do. What can they do? Nothing, nothing. And you starting to see that now. That whole that whole group that shenanigan, the church. The hollow house is, is being ripped apart by the God of the Bible, man. Your chickens are coming home to roast now, man. All that damn lying that you did on the men of the Lord. Y'all won't read the scriptures, man. Proverbs chapter eight, chapter 6, verse 16. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. These six things do the Lord hate. Yahweh by Shem Rashad hate, right? Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. And, and all you all the members of IUIC got that proud ass look on their face, man. And you other camps too, man. Now it's time for y'all to pay. Then y'all start the Lord is bringing vengeance upon y'all now, man. For speaking evil his, of his men, man. It's out there week in and week out, non-stop every weekend, starting off with the head of apostles. They ain't missed a weekend yet, man. For like 30 years and better. You got knuckleheads, you know what I'm saying? That they ain't even teaching the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son coming against them. Lying. Remember, remember, y'all the ones that said we, we was rapists, right? We was pedophiles. We was bums. Y'all said that, remember? You can't take it back now. You just spread that lie. You just spread that rumor. Now what the God of the Bible say, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. These six things do if the Lord hate. Yes, the Lord hate now. I guess y'all forgot about that, man. The Lord hates, right? What, what does he hate, though? Yea, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look. A lying tongue. They lie. Look, the Lord hates a lying tongue. Damn it. Y'all lied on the men of great millstones. Y'all y'all told the whole world that we, we rape little girls, which that was a damn lie. Y'all said we pedophiles, which that was a damn lie. Y'all did the same thing to the Lord, man. Y'all lied on the Lord, man. Y'all the same dudes coming back, man. You know? Actions speak louder than words, man. You know? Your works prove exactly who you are, man. The Lord said he hates a proud look. And he hates a lying tongue. And then your chickens are coming home to roast now. Right? It says, and hands that shed Innocent blood. They said they said they're gonna get the um bloods and the crypts after the um, great millstone. They ain't say that about nobody else, right? And heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and running to mischief, man. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren, and that's what the IUIC have been doing the whole time, and the rest of these alphabet groups, man. And the Lord said he hates that, man. Look, I guess y'all forgot to read about that, though. Then your chickens are coming home in the roast. Then your cars are getting shot up. Then the members in your camps are being accused of murder. You know, y'all accused of shooting trannies in the face. Y'all accused of stealing money, money laundering, you know, racketeering, you know. That's y'all getting caught up in that nonsense, man. Then the chickens are coming home in the roost. St. Matthew chapter 12. Verse 36. But I say unto you, this red letter, Lord Yahweh Shah, not Jesus Christ. Lord Yahweh Shah, okay? Lord Yahweh Shah, this is what he's saying. 
But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. And that judgment is coming upon you, I, I, U, I, C, cats, and the rest of you other alphabet group, prophets, teachers, so-called leaders. Every idle word. We rapists, right? We pedophiles, right? We bums, right? That's idle talk. Whatever happened to preaching the gospel? You know, whatever happened, whatever, whatever happened to letting our people know that tribulation is coming, that death and destruction is coming, that a famine is coming, that a race riot is coming. Whatever happened to that? They tr they too busy teaching that their prosperity doctrine. Lying to our people, telling our people that ain't nothing coming when everything is coming, right? Every idle word, they should give account thereof in the day of judgment. And that judgment coming upon them, yo. Can y'all forgive us? Can y'all forgive us, man? Get the hell out of here, man. Y'all been slurring us for years, man. Starting off with the apostles, first and foremost. And, and first and foremost, starting off with your how shy, man. Y'all slant, y'all the same dudes coming back who slandered our Lord and Savior, man. Okay? Who lied on him to try to get him. Y'all got y'all got our Lord and Savior killed. Y'all handed the Lord over, man. And how we know this? By your actions, man. Y'all don't even preach your how your how was shot, your how about your was shot. But oh yeah, the law, 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 right? It says, For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. The chicken are coming home on the roots now. Then your car's getting shot the hell up. The men in your congregation are murdering fucking women. The men in your congregation and the congregation of the IUIC are shooting trannies in the face. But oh yeah, they're trying to sweep that up under the rug, right? Y'all made the Passover a, a, a lamb dinner. Y'all invited boys to men and all this other nonsense jumping around like hyenas and monkeys. We're supposed to be a summer assembly. We're supposed to go to the house on morning. Look, now the chickens are coming home with the roast, right? The hell with all y'all, man. They're, that's, they're pretty sure some sincere items up in there. Look, they better hurry up and get the hell away from y'all. <laughs> yeah, look, because by that word, thou shalt be justified, and by thy words, thou shalt be condemned, man. Yeah, how about Shemal Shah ripping that whole organization to shreds, man? The hell with him, man. The hell with him, man. The, the scriptures say, he that hateth correction shall die, man. Okay? They hate correction, man. So they, they get exactly what they deserve, man. You know? Let's see. Proverbs chapter 12 Verse uh, 22 Lying lips Because we just read in Proverbs 6 and 16 The Lord hated um, Lying lips He hated for lying tongue And a proud look What does it say right here? Proverbs chapter 12 Verse 22 Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord You have a bunch of shy. So when, when these guys go around lying On the men of the Lord That's a wicked filthy act man And you got to give account thereof In the day of judgment man when, when, when animals start eating your whole congregation alive When all hell start breaking loose Don't try to run to the true men of the Lord you Better go get that oil from somebody else What the Lord say again The heavenly father the most high Yahweh Not God they say God and Christ bless. Okay? Well, God and Christ bless is not, are not going to protect you. Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai is the only entity that can protect you, Israelites. But what does it say again? Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. But they that deal truly are his delight. And the only thing we're doing is breaking down the scriptures the right way. Y'all hate us for that, man. Y'all hated the Lord for that, man. You know? Lying lips are an abomination to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, man. But they that deal truly is, is his delight, man. Okay? Proverbs chapter 18, verse 6. A fool's lips, a blockhead, a meatball, a jackass, an imbecile, a fool's lips. Those men over there, especially the leadership of the IUIC, they're a bunch of fools, man. A bunch of blockheads, a bunch, a bunch of meatballs, a bunch of jackasses, a bunch of imbeciles, man. But they, but they think they know something, though, man. Lining up their beard, lining up their heads. Dreads every damn way of rapping and singing. The Lord ain't with that, man. At all. That's why he's ripping it apart. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 6. A fool's lips enter into contention. And his mouth calling for strokes, man. Okay? So your mouth is calling for strokes. Yeah, how about you, man? I'm sure I got something for you, IUIC cats, man. And you other alphabet groups, man. It's coming against a true service that's out there week in and week out. Great millstone and a man coming in the same like mine. A fool's lips enter into contention, 
and his mouth calleth for strokes. A fool's mouth is his destruction. Running that damn mouth. I U I C running that damn mouth. There are people shooting up your vehicles, man. But oh yeah, y'all supposed to be the men of the Lord, right? Y'all took a 501c3 charter. Y'all made a covenant with the heathers. And y'all think your how about Shemel is gonna protect your asses, man? Hell no, man. Y'all the ones that gave the Lord over, man. To the Roman centurions, man. You know? Y'all gave him over, man. Why, why do I say that? Because actions speak louder than words, man. They ain't even confessing the name of the Yahweh by Shemel Shai. When they say we have no king but Caesar, right? That's why they took that 501c3 charter. Then the chickens come and hold the roost. To roast. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are a snare of his soul. When they, when they throw out that madness, calling us rapists, calling us pedophiles, calling us child molesters, calling us bums, and all the other nonsense, which we ate it. You know, you got you got certain men got fire behind that. You know, your ass is gonna pay, man. You can believe that, man. You know, you gonna pay, man. Let's get this songs. This is this is just a quick response video to the video the Apostle Ram Lob did. Your chickens are coming home to roost now. You know, what you throw out there, know what I'm saying? I love what goes around comes around, man. What goes around comes around. He that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which you have did. That, I guess they didn't read that either. This is Psalms chapter 31. Let's see, Salakia. Psalms chapter 31, verse 18. Let the lying lips be put to silence. So then you have by Shemar Shai going to put those lying ass lips to silence, man. He going to close them for good, man. Okay? He say he hate them all liars, man. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly. And consumptuously against the righteous, man. That proud look. They speak it proudly, man. Meaning they, they, they speak it not even giving a damn of the consequences. They speak it proudly, man. Not even giving a damn about the consequences, man. There's consequences for your actions, man. For every action, there's a reaction. Did, I, did nobody they teach you that growing up? Whatever you do, whatever, whatever kind of energy you throw out there, it's going to come right back to you. Then your vehicles are getting shot the hell up. You, you're ducking down in the seat. You're hauling ass down the street. That's all the judgment on you. How about Shabbat 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 for making mockery of his men, man? Okay? Y'all, y'all, some of the men that slew the prophets back in the days, man. Every idle word, man. Let's get this, man. Let's get this. Second Chronicles. Uh, I'm about to wrap this up. This is 2nd Chronicles chapter 36 verse 16 but they mocked the messages of the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh right? They did. They mocked their messages. When you call them men rapists, pedophiles and those, those are serious ass offenses right there man. Y'all know the Lord is going to deal with you bastards man. Everybody over there at the IUIC Oh, yeah, the, um, the daughters of Sarah. Come on, man. A bunch of whores over there, man. You know what I'm Y'all swapping wives, you know, committing adultery over there. But, oh, yeah, the law, 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 right? Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High. They made fun of us, right? Called us the Bumalites, right? And despised his words. He that despises the words shall be, be destroyed. Remember that? <clears throat> so, like here. It said, and despise his words and misuse his prophets until the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, rose, rose against his people till there was no remedy. So now there ain't no cure, man. You know? You've been speaking that nonsense for a long time. And, and now and now judgment starting to roll upon you. You mock the messages of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, and now judgment is starting to roll on your ass. But they, when they say the chickens are coming home to roost now, you know, and look, and it's a wonderful thing, man. We, we've been waiting a long time for the God of the Bible to roll on you, I U I C cats, man. You know, we kept silence, man. The God of the Bible didn't know. He's waiting on the right time to get you. This is um, Ecclesiastes chapter eight, verse eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, 
Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. The God of the Bible didn't strike them down right then when they lied on us, call us pedophiles, call us rapists, you know, call us every name up under the sun and stuff for Yasha Allah. But because the God of the Bible didn't, didn't slap them down right then and didn't destroy their whole organization, they kept doing it for years. They've been doing this for years now, man. Years that went by now, man. And then all of a sudden, we, we apologize for what we said about y'all. The hell with that, man. Y'all been slandering the bed of the Lord for years, man. You know? All because sentence against an evil work wasn't executed speedily, man. Okay? What it say? Though a sinner do even a hundred times, that's sin right there. It says, Thou shalt not bear false, false witness against thy neighbor. And that's what y'all did. Though a sinner do even a hundred times, and his days be prolonged. Y'all been doing it for some years now. And days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, two thirds of our people, and these heathens, neither shall he prolong his days. Which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. That this you know right there. None of those people in IUIC or these other camps fear you how about Shemar Shai. Anytime you come up against a man that's out there truly preaching the word the right way, you don't fear you how about Shemar Shai. And they're sentenced against that evil work is being executed upon them. And, and look, you you deserve you uh, deserve everything you get, man. Everything that's coming to IUIC, they, they deserve it all, man. The hell with them, man. The hell with them, man. You know, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We we'll say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us, man. Okay? Let's get this. And we ain't praying for none of y'all either, man. When y'all start catching prayer hell, we ain't praying for y'all cats, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 11. Verse 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shemir Rashad, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them now. Yahweh by Shemir Rashad is starting to bring those bad times against the IUIC. You niggas in trouble, man, with the God of the Bible, Yahweh by Shemir Rashad. Y'all won't profess in the name that all of a sudden y'all trying to say the names now. The Lord ain't hearing y'all, man. The Lord say, Hear if not sinners, man. Y'all blaspheme the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Y'all mock the messages. There ain't no cure now. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall, see, God and Christ blessed ain't going to be able to get you out of this situation now, this predicament. The God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, say, hey, they shall not be able to escape. The vengeance that I'm going to bring upon their asses. And, and good for you, man. Good for you. The chickens are coming home with a roast now. It says, uh, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. And they snake them to the head. The leader of their organization is in trouble and the rest of his crew. You know. You hawking into a wicked messenger. I love you going to receive the same punishment he get, man. You look, you'd be better off you know, some tying a millstone around your neck and jumping in the water, man. Hey, look, just a quick response video, man. Giving you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans warning from your how about Shemir Rashad. The chickens are coming home to roost. Get away from these wicked Israelite groups, man. Get away from these wicked leaders, man. Judgment is coming down the pipeline. Your how about Shemir Rashad ain't playing no more. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head of apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons, man. And look, your chickens are coming home to roast. Shalom.